हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे इज द डे थ्री फॉर आवर फोर्टी एट फायर वर्ल्ड ट्रेनिंग सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फोर्टी एट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड दिस इज अवेलेबल फ्री विद दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन यू कैन लर्न टेक्नोलॉजी यू कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दैट टेक्नोलॉजी यू कैन गेट टू नो वॉट आर द फीचर्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन स्पेसिफिक फोर्टी ओ एस what is the cli that we can use for troubleshooting or maybe configuration of some technology how can we troubleshoot and also when we plan to upgrade our fortigate firewall what are the upgrade path that we need to follow so all this i'll be covering in this video and explaining you how to explore fortinet documentation to get this information so it will be very helpful for you guys if you are going for an interview or let's say if you are working in an environment where fortigate firewall is used so i'll request you to please watch this video till then so that you can understand those points as well as you can use it and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends first of all we'll understand how we can learn the technology with the help of fortinet documentation so what we going to do is we'll just go to the browser and we'll browse to fortinet web, uh, documentation website so let me rub this off and we'll type fortinet documentation right so documentation now you have to go to this docs.fortinet.com so once you visit over there like it's well organized and it is very easy to browse i'll show you how it is so we'll accept it we'll go to 40 get as we need 40 get uh, we don't need 40 manager or anything else right now when we understand other technology will come to that uh, how we can browse those technology information but right now we'll just focus on forty gate so once you go to the documentation of forty gate you'll get this page and here you'll find your all your guides and manuals this is related to the version so if you want to go to 5.0 or 5.6 maybe 6.4 something just click on that and you'll get those guides and reference module uh, manuals okay so as we need admin guide for 7.0 so we are learning uh, from 7.0 right now so we'll go to administration guide okay and we'll see how we can understand so we'll go to security profile and then let's say go to inspection mode right now we'll understand how inspection works over here okay so there is a flow mode inspection proxy mode inspection so there are a lot of modes that are that are available so this is the default mode so if you want to understand how this inspection flow modes are working you just go over there and with the uh, diagram it it has been explained by this doc uh, this document library okay so it is very easy to understand and uh, with the document uh, like the diagram it is very easy okay so let's say if you want to know how to configure this flow mode inspection what you can do is so you have to go to kb sorry it's kb.fortinet.com okay so here you'll get a lot of information about inspection mode so let's say if i copy this uh, flow mode inspection okay and you have to select your device so right now it is for forty eight okay so once you select it you have to search with the topic flow mode inspection now you'll get lot of documents okay uh, with uh, related to flow mode inspection so you have to find it out that changing the security profile inspection mode so where we are security profile and flow mode inspection so you have to open this and in this document it will explain you that you have to go to dashboard system information widget and you have to change it 
so this is how you can find out like what exactly the technology what is inspection and then how to configure it and if you want to understand more about it what happened like if you are changing flow mode or proxy mode after upgrading to 6.2 uh, what exactly happens so it's a document you can just go through it okay so you can understand each and everything about that specific technology it will help you okay so friends now uh, if you want to understand what features that are available let's say if you are moving from let's say 4.5 to 6.4 something like that in that case what are the features that are getting added to that particular os so if you want to know so where you can find it you have to go to again to the admin guide which i have told you this fortinet document library where doc docs.fortinet.com go to fortigate and you'll get a new features what are the features that has been added okay so once you explore this document let's say if i want to go to security profile in security profile what are the things has got changed So we'll just click on a security profile. Uh, let's say if I want to understand what is happening inside the SSL inspection. So now it supports version two in the proxy mode SSL inspection. There are multiple set certificates in SSL profile in replace mode. So there are quite a few advantages that has been added to a specific OS so you can find those those outs in this uh, document okay so now friends will find it out what is uh, where is uh, CLI reference guide and what how we can troubleshoot any any particular issue that we are facing okay so now for CLI reference the same page the Fortinet document library and we have to go to reference manuals and CLI reference so once you click on that it will give you all the information so CLI if you want to let's say configure something so related to firewall so you have to explore the do documentation then only you will understand where exactly a particular command is so you want to configure a firewall address okay so you have to go to firewall and then these are the things that you can configure in firewall address okay and it will all also tell you what what is the meaning let's say if i want to understand set subnet okay in set subnet what exactly the subnet is it will tell you each and everything okay now if i want to tell you what is the troubleshooting steps and where you can find the troubleshooting steps you can go to uh, two places first is the admin guide the troubleshooting methodology and troubleshooting scenarios and then you can go over here as well and here you will find lot more things lot more like uh, what I can say every topics you will get lot of like uh, for flow mode inspection we have th 300 results so you can go to next time so friends now we'll understand what is upgrade path okay so let's say if your device is on 5.0 and you want to upgrade to 7.0 okay so you can't just go directly and upgrade to 7.0 in that you have to follow some steps you have to follow so you may need to go to 5.6 then you need to go to 6.0 then 6.8 and then you can go to 6.0 uh, 7.0 why because the way this os is operating so let's suppose if you are working in windows xp okay the way it operates the way it uses a ram or cpu it will be very much different on windows 10 right the way it actually finds a file in windows xp it is finding the file in windows 10 it will be different right so that is the reason we have to follow some upgrade path so that it uh, whenever we upgrade it will be smooth right 
so how we can find it out so friends uh, you have to go to docs.fortinet.com and then you have to select your device so this is a forti gate okay and then you have to go to upgrade path tool okay here you need to select the device so let's say i'm just select selecting a random device that is let's say 1100e okay so once you select it uh, maybe i am running 6.0 right right now and i want to move to 7.0.2 okay so what is the path that we need to follow it will explain you over here 6.0 right now so we have to go to 2.0 2.2 4.0 4.2 and 4 6 4.4 and then 4 so we have to go step by step and we have to upgrade five times so we have to reboot the device five times okay so this is how you uh, follow the upgrade path and upgrade the device to the newest version so this is how we can understand for from fortinet document library as well as the knowledge base of the fortigate uh, documentation we can learn lot many things okay so today what we have learned from this we have learned like how we can learn a technology from documentation how to implement it what are the features that are available what is the cli commands what is the troubleshooting that we can perform what is the upgrade path okay so you must be thinking that why i am telling about these things the main intention of mine is whenever i create a video on some technology so let's say ssl inspection okay you can just go on this documentation and read it whether whatever i told you it is right or wrong if it is wrong in that case you can send me an email or you can comment on that video or maybe you can connect me on facebook or instagram you can see the way you have explained this technology it is not working like that maybe i can rectify myself i will go through doc documentation maybe the way i explained it is not understandable by you or maybe i have a, a, a the way i explained it is a wrong way okay so i'll just uh, rectify those mistakes and i can create a new video on it because the main intention is to grow our community together right and also so this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you understand or if you get to know something new please like this video and comment what you have learned from this video okay and also if you have suggestion to my video please do a comment or maybe you can send me an email maybe you can uh, message me on facebook or instagram every link is there on my description as well as you can find on my uh, page as well the channel page you can find those links as well so and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video